Welcome back to Talk of the Town, everyone. Joining us now is Miss Dawn Rosa Miller. She is the owner and, and director of the Bluffton School of Dance. That's it's great. been there for 18 years. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. I can't believe it's been that long. I'm sure it's gone by real fast. Absolutely. I remember the day when my girls were in little kid class yep. over there. So you're still there. You're in Bluffton, a new location from where you were. Where, remind us of where you are now. We are next to Red Cedar Elementary School, um, which is right behind Camp Low Country Day. So it's in the opposite side of Lefton Parkway but still off Persimmon Street. Okay yeah. now with school coming soon I Absolutely. know a lot of folks don't want to think about that but that does bring a new season a new uh, of dance classes. Yes. Share with us about when those will start and what you're gonna offer. Well our dance classes start back August uh, 14th but we have a, an end of summer party before that on August 5th so we're excited about that and then we start at two years old. So we go from, wow. two, I know, and they don't even have to be potty trained. So they start <laughs> at two and they go all the way up through high school. And um, we start them with creative movement and ballet. And then as they get older and they progress through our curriculum, they add on tap, jazz, acro, hip hop, lyrical is a good new one that everybody loves. So the sky's the limit and we have a million different avenues for them to take. Um, we do offer a values-based curriculum. So our values are individuality and acceptance passion, confidence, courage. We try to take those words and what they mean to our faculty and our studio and infuse them into dance class so that our kids are building confidence. Yeah, that's awesome. They're being accepted for who they are and encouraged to be unique and special. And then, you know, giving them a little bit of courage to try something new and step out of their comfort zone. And when you instill all those, that'll manifest in their performance and their skills. So that's, that's great that you start with that and really hone in on those things too. That's yeah. So share with us a little bit more about some of those classes you mentioned. Hip hop, ballet, how do you oh, figure yes. out what's right for what kid? You know, sometimes, sometimes they have to try a couple different ones before they find their perfect fit. And we make that very easy for them. Um, you know, it should be a stress free or a little stress experience to bring your kid to an after school activity. Mm -hmm. um, but if they're really into um, the pop music and the current trends that are going on, then maybe hip hop's the right fit for them right now. Or if they're really into gymnastics and they're flipping all over your house, let's channel that energy <laughs> into a tumbling or an acro class, you know. Um, we like to start our babies off in ballet because that's the basis of everything. Mm -hmm. So if, if you had a kid that really wanted to say, I want to dance and I want to get to do what they're doing on TV, then we would say ballet is your number one. That's where you want to settle in and really start to grow from there. So it just depends on the kid. Every kid has a different Sure, so they can avenue. try it out and see. Absolutely. And then if they get enrolled, tell us a little bit about the season, how long do those classes go? If you enroll in August, does that take you through a year or a semester? Absolutely, so you start August 14th, and we love kids starting that first week because that's week one of our curriculum. Mm -hmm. And then they can really travel through the year. We end with our recital the first weekend in June. Um, but in between, we offer so many different events for our kids that go beyond dance. We have preschool parties for our little ones, movie nights for our older ones, um, and they have a free holiday performance mid-year in December as well. Um, our two and three-year-olds, sometimes like my own daughter, her birthday's in December, sometimes they don't turn you know, two or three at the beginning of the year, but a year is a really long time to wait. Mm -hmm. So we start new babies classes in January for those two and three year olds that turn after October 1st, but before March 1st. Um, so they could start in January. And then for everyone else, if you play soccer, they can come in and register afterwards. We just kind of have a rolling registration okay. um, throughout the year. Good. Absolutely, so it's, it doesn't stop you um, from joining, um, finish out soccer season, jump into dance, jump back into baseball. Um, we make things pretty easy for our families to experience different activities. Yeah, and I think it's important to experience those Absolutely. different activities. So if your child's a soccer player, hey, it's okay to try dance. They might find they have a skill or talent there and, and go with that. And they help each other. You know, sports and dance, they go hand in hand. The, the skills you learn in dance, both mental and physical will help you in baseball. And the sure. skills you learn as being a part of a soccer team will help you in your dance class as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Do you do any offer any classes for adults or is it just focused on the age groups? The majority of our mm -hmm. classes are kids. We're relooking into our adult program. Um, we're looking to offer some new things, maybe some online classes that people can access. Um, we also have some Zumba classes that go on in the mornings. Um, but our focus is primarily on our kids. 
Well, great. Well, we appreciate sharing all of that. And Thank you. we uh, hope that you continue on many more years with your business out there. Thank and you so much. You all stay here. We'll be back with more Talk at the Town.